yes, there are issues in this country. There are several things that I really am worried about. But there's really only one thing that makes my hair stand on end. That really, really disturbs me. And we'll ponder that next on the Constitution Study. There's one thing you have to know wherever you make your stand. Came from a long through line of everyday Americans. Hello there, everyday Americans. Paul Engel here with the Constitution Study, where we read and study the Constitution, teach the rising generation to be free. I hope you're having a great day. I'm glad you could join me. As always, head over to the website, constitutionstudy.com. Find out everything I'm working on. Sign up for the mailing list. Uh, you'll get updates. I send out an update about once a month about what's going on with the Constitution Study. You can get these videos or the audio or the web articles delivered directly to your inbox. Most of all, please help me share this message with others. I think there's a lot of people out there that actually are a little bit curious about the Constitution. And I think these messages will truly help us understand not only what the Constitution says, but what our rights are. And as John Jay said, how we can defend and assert them. And that happens not simply by me speaking into this camera, but by you taking this information, sharing it. Head to the website, ask questions, put in your comments, let me know what's going on. Let's make this as much of a dialogue as possible. And with that, I want to discuss something that truly has been bothering me lately. You know, since I've been studying the Constitution, I'm seeing our rights violated pretty much every day. And I see it all over the place. But, you know, that isn't really what disturbs me. You know, I watch a government violate our rights, violate our freedom of speech, violate our right to keep and bear arms, violate our freedom of religion, violate our right to be secure in our person's property, papers, and effects, basically violating our rights left, right, and center, doing whatever they want as long as it gets some vote. But that isn't what really disturbs me. I watch candidates make all sorts of promises to not only violate our rights, but to turn us into slaves. They'll tell us what we can do, when we can do it, where we can do it. And you think I'm exaggerating. We've already been told they'll tell us, well, you'll have to pay so that everybody gets a basic income. Uh, you're going to have to have use government-funded uh, health insurance because we're not going to allow you to have other health insurance. We're going to force you to tell us where your guns are, whether or not you're allowed to have guns, what guns you're allowed to have. They already tell us what light bulbs we can use and what toilets we can use. We see a government that is bent on tyranny, and I see candidates basically just telling us which type of tyranny they want to submit us to. And that isn't even what disturbs me. No, what really disturbs me is when I see videos of candidates promising to take away our rights, to enslave the American people. And then I see hundreds and thousands of everyday Americans standing and cheering. That would break, is what breaks my heart. That is what truly disturbs me. See, I expect men and women in power to try to collect more power. As Lord Acton said, power tends to corrupt and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So I'm not surprised that people seeking power are seeking power. What really disturbs me is that we've lost, as the American people, this idea of liberty. We are willing to sell ourselves and our children into slavery in promise for a few goodies. We'll give you free health care, forgetting that someone's got to pay for it. Someone's got to pay the doctors. Someone's got to pay the hospitals. Oh, we'll just get someone else to do it. We will make you our slave. We will enslave your medical care to what some government bureaucrat says. Don't want to pay for abortion? Too bad. The government official says so. Want to try some new medical treatment or some new drug? Too bad. The government official says no. You've become slaves. We've all become slaves. The government, people in the government say, we're going to come and buy back your guns. Well, first of all, you didn't sell us the guns, so you can't buy them back. No, what you're talking about is we're going to steal your guns but we're going to be kind enough and give you a little bit of money for them. We have governments telling you what you can and cannot say. New York City said, if you work for the city, if you're an employer, if you run a, a public entity, you cannot use certain words. 
and people stand up and cheer. A candidate says, hell yes, we're going to come take your stuff. And the people cheer. A candidate says, we're going to eliminate private insurance and the people cheer. We're going to make you serfs. We're going to make you slaves. You're going to be servants of the government and the government will tell you what to do and the people cheer. And nobody ever looks at history. This has been done time and time before. Remember, Adolf Hitler was elected chancellor. Venezuela elected a dictator. Sure, sometimes they come in by power, by force, right? Uh, uh, Lenin or, or Mao, they, they at least conquered. But how many times have we seen the people elect dictators and then watch what happens and we haven't learned our lesson. Why? Why in America are we voting for our own enslavement? I don't understand it. It scares me. It scares me to think that the generation my daughter is part of will willingly sell her into slavery. All for the promise of some goody or other. They never think of the fact that the government that can take this person's stuff can take your stuff. The government that can tell the other person what to do can tell you what to do. That the government that can force other people to use certain health care can force you to do whatever they want. And that without any means of defending yourself against said government, you truly are slaves. You are owned, bought and paid for by a government that's just promising you goodies. And the people cheer. That breaks my heart. That makes me mad. I was at a meeting the other day and people said, well, what, what can we do about it? Well, it starts with, I can say no. I can stand up and say, no, 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 you're not taking my stuff. I have rights. You're not taking my, you're not making me a serf. You're not making me a slave. I have rights. You're required to obey them. And I am not going to help you infringe on my rights. I can talk to people who are cheering for these events and say, you're really cheering for the government to have that much power over your life. You really want some government bureaucrat determining how you get your health care. You really want your health care to work like the DMV or the public schools. That's a comparison that's already been made. Why are the American people so bent on becoming slaves? 235 years ago, our founding father said, no, we're tired of the government telling us where we buy tea and where we can buy and sell our stuff and coming into our houses and taking stuff and confiscating our weapons and telling us what we can say and what we can print. We're tired of it. No, and we declare independence. Our constitution and the preamble says, Part of why they did this was to secure the blessings of liberty to themselves and to their posterity. And their posterity is throwing it out the window. And the American people are standing back and saying, well, yeah, but healthcare is expensive. Really? Is your liberty, are your rights worth nothing more than a a bowl of pottage? This, uh, th th then a bowl of stew? A crust of bread? Is that really what your liberty is worth to you? This scares me. It scares me how many American people are begging to become slaves. And I don't think they think of it as becoming slaves because I don't think they think that far. But any time you give government the power to do something, you must assume someday that government will do something to you. The American ideal is being sold down the river by the American people. As the Tocqueville said, America will exist, the American Republic will exist 
until Congress figures out they can bribe the American people with their own money. Well, Congress has figured that out. The candidates have figured that out. And we are not only being bribed by our, our own money, but we're being, it's being used to lead us into cages. And we are willingly, like lemmings, pulling them right off the cliff. What can we do about it? Well, the first thing you do is stop heading for that cliff. Even if you're just one in a million, stop heading for that cliff. Listen, I don't care what party you are. Uh, Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, a pox on all their houses. My question is, are the people we are voting to act as our agents selling us into slavery or protecting our rights and our liberty? So far, it's been pretty much the former and very little of the latter. And I think it's time we stand up and change it. Otherwise, my fears are going to come true. There'll be none of us to stand up for liberty because we've all been locked in cages, put in chains, had our liberties stripped from us. And many of us will have begged the government to do it. So yeah, this is not a fun, upbeat message. This is the type of stuff that disturbs me. It gets me angry. It gets me passionate because I am working hard to maintain our, all our rights and liberties so my daughter can grow up in a country that's freer than it could be. It's not going to be as free as the one I inherited because we screwed it up too much. But we can at least start pointing them in the direction of liberty. And if we don't, we'll have no one to blame but ourselves when the government comes and simply orders you, do this or we'll throw you in jail. Do this or, or, or we'll fine you out of existence. They do it today. If they do it today for things like braiding hair or driving a taxi why not well what you spoke was was politically incorrect you did not use the proper pronoun so we're going to shut down your website and we're not going to allow you we're going to issue a restraining order because you are a dangerous person to use such damaging words so you won't be able to speak in public anymore and we'll shut down your youtube channel Think it can't happen? It already is. It's just not the government forcing them to do it yet. That's only a matter of time. So if this scares you, if this bothers you, if this disturbs you, share it with others, because it should. Head over to the website constitutionstudy.com, see the other things that I'm talking about, where our rights are being not only violated, they're being destroyed. Your liberties are being taken away from you, and you're being sold like chattel, into servitude of the government. No different than a draft. And it'll only change when the American people start standing up and saying, no, the Declaration of Independence says that when governments become destructive to our rights, it is our right to alter or abolish it. And it's time we start taking that seriously. And if you think I'm right, if you think it's time we start taking that statement seriously, that it's time to alter our government, I hope you'll head, come here next time. We'll discuss some more on the Constitution Center. Every day.